Well, what the heck's going on, happy people? Good chance. Happy people. Happy yeah. <laughs> Y'all probably just watched the crazy video I did with the mad sharks, bonitas, and, and wild hogs. But now we're up here in Wisconsin, and I am going fishing for my very first smallmouth bass. Have you ever caught one? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't know. She doesn't know. She's just fishing for fish. I will today. But today, the whole goal is to catch a smallmouth bass. This right here, this big fella, that's Coach Leader from Oshkosh North. <laughs> <laughs> that is Sarah Dawn, AKA. The mama. wifey. Yeah. Little mama right there. And mama. This is Jared. Jared. Jeez. Doesn't matter. <laughs> Jared, like parrot with a J. Yeah. There you go. It's always so cool to come out here and do something new. I have got no idea what we're doing right now, which is pretty rare. Normally I have a good idea because I'm doing what I do. Out here, I'm out here doing what Coach does. We'll figure it out as we go. This could not get any easier though. Cast and reel, that's it. Oh, 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 here we go. Yeah, buddy, what do we got? Mama's on the board. Small mouth, that's officially the first small mouth I've ever even seen. I know for a good fact, having a treble hook, I'm gonna, thank you. Mama's on the board. Woo. Okay, nobody else. I, that's like her second cast. She didn't even know where she's casting and she catches a fish. I gotta say, I'm proud, I'm, I'm proud. I'm gonna catch a giant smallmouth right now. What are you rigging up? This is gonna be a drop shot. We got the hook, a little weight, and I'm about to get a plastic worm on there. Yeah, a bigger one. Okay, you guys. Oh wait, I'm gonna come behind. Come on, come on, come on. Sarah is actually oh, yeah. killing me right now. Oh, are we netting it? Is that what you're doing? You wanna net it? Is it, I don't know. I, I don't know. What, Hey, this is you guys, your guys' game. Can I just wing it in the corner? Oh, yeah. Come on in here, honey pie. Come here, guys. Okay, well, it's not much bigger, but it's bigger, right? It's bigger. A lot yep. bigger. That's a long. Oh, yeah, baby. Nobody gets to touch this bait, this lure. It's all mine. What about the lips? Mm. Yeah, there we go. Mama, too. Daddy, nothing. Awesome, that's a pretty nice fish. fish, honey. Yeah, it's pretty. Here he goes. Okay. This is a nice fish. He's got a lot of head shake. All right, you guys, Sarah's got two, Jared's got one, Ropate's got zero. I'm still in the rigging stages of this expedition. Leaders on the board. Way. Little guy. Literally every single person on the boat has caught one before I started fishing. <laughs> hey, time to start whacking and stacking. he's fishing with real rubbery tube and you're just fishing that right on the bottom yeah I'm just kind of popping it off the bottom maybe two feet and then reeling the slack in and doing the same thing again That 
is effectively my very first smallmouth bass I have ever caught. And he, look at that, literally swallowed the bait. Oh, see that he's been caught before. See how his tail was cut? A lot of times people will clip their tails as a mark. They'll clip the back fin sometimes just to mark the fish so somebody can't bring it in twice. It is kind of an extremely slow afternoon. As soon as we got here, fish were snapping one after the other. I didn't even have my bait rigged and they already caught four fish. It slowed down and we are on the search for one keeper. Oh, leader's on. Oh, come on. Come on. 14 inches and you're gonna be dinner, buddy. Okay, I'll go in under your left. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, is he 14 inches long? It's time to measure him. If he's 14 inches, we are cooking that rascal. Oh yeah. Yeah, baby. Yeah, shut up, what is he? Catch, clean, and cook, ladies and gentlemen, in full effect. We got a season and a half. Hey. <laughs> Life is good. We got a 14 incher in the well. We're gonna head back to the house, flay that sucker up, and we're gonna find out exactly what smallmouth bass tastes like. Whammy. Hey, honey. Yeah, I'm cleaning a fish. Yeah. They're nice and thick and hearty fish. This knife is so small. It's like the coolest little knife ever. I'm so interested to see what this meat looks like. More bloody than any other fish, huh? A little bit. Look at that, y'all. Repeat the process on this side. They feel like they're actually a little bit more meaty than, than large mouth. The meat looks amazing. Keith, I love your little filet knife. This thing is awesome. You know what that means? We're gonna have to make a silver steak that small. Once you break those pin bones, It definitely has a unique smell to it. It smells like wink. Yeah. Come over here. There you go. I tell you what, this meat is surprisingly nice. It looks firm. Yeah, it's beautiful, very little bloodline. So in the same day, I caught my first smallmouth bass and cleaned my first smallmouth bass. Has a unique smell, but I think it's gonna be delicious. We're gonna put this in a Ziploc, put it in the refrigerator, and then tomorrow, we're gonna make beer batter bass. You've heard your whole life that tomorrow never comes. That's a lie, because it is tomorrow and there's our fish. I have not made a beer batter in like my whole life, but I did do a little searching. I came up with a recipe. I'm gonna put my own spin on it, and make it happen. First and foremost, this is my part. You gotta dry your fish off. I'm trying to season fish and it's wet, the season's not gonna stick to it, so make sure your fish is nice and dry. We're going with a really simple, just a little 
just a little sprinkle of Everglades original. We're gonna need two eggs. We need some Parmesan cheese, about that much. Add a little more Everglades seasoning and some black pepper. Start mixing that up. Now we're gonna take good old Coors Light. I have no idea how people drink beer because I hate the taste of beer. Now let's take some all-purpose flour and we're gonna keep adding flour until we have the consistency of batter that we want. That's our beer batter right there, y'all. If your fish is wet, the batter will not stick to it properly. And if your batter is too thick, it will make the fish have too thick of a batter on it. Oh yeah. Let's flip it. Looks beautiful, man. Looking good, y'all. I, mean, I am thoroughly impressed with the way this fish looks. It has a nice fluffy look to it. I'm sure it's gonna be tasty. You want some? Say some, please. Please. Mom. Uh oh, Ari's calling mama. Okay. Lord, thank you for this food, and thank you for this day, and thank you for a wonderful trip up here with family. Please nourish it to our body, and forgive us of all of our sins. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Yeah, okay, here you go. You can eat some fish now. It's probably really hot for her. I like how flaky it is. It is really, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can try a bite. Okay. Mm. Nice and white and flaky. Is it good, Arya? Mm -hmm. It's very good. Mmm. Bonnie, you want to try these? I think you should. Really good. Froggy's trick. Don't mind if I do. Don't bring it off. Yeah, those are that. Mmm. Yeah, y'all. It's good stuff. It's very flaky. That's just one fish. Flaky and flavorful. Mmm. Ain't it good? Yeah, all this is just one fish. It is. I'll just go out on a limb and tell you right now, that's better than largemouth. Mm. That is better than largemouth bass. That probably because it lives in such cold water up here, but. Mm. Coach, just want to say thank you for being an awesome example to all the kids that you coach and to all the other teachers and coaches out there. Your job is so important for today's youth. So I salute all the teachers and coaches all across the world. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching Deer Meat for Dinner. Tomorrow morning, we're heading for Seattle. But for now, take care, God bless. And we go.